Whether you have fond memories of playing games like Duck Hunt on your NES back in the day, or you remember hanging out with your friends at the arcade and sinking hours in the time crisis, there's no denying the fun and nostalgia of light gun games. It's a simple concept. These are the type of games anybody can pick up and play, and at the same time, they're the type of games that take some serious skill to master. Yeah, there hasn't been a whole lot of change or innovation like in light gun gaming in like the last few decades, uh, until now. Gentlemen, Welcome very much. They've kind of been here the entire time. Don't get it twisted. It's not this weird thing that they just show up. But just in case, please introduce yourselves individually and what it is you do while you're here. Sure. My name is uh, John Moore, and I'm with Performance Design Products, and we're here to talk about Mars. And this is? I'm Adam Nose. Uh, I'm a product manager on Mars with uh, Performance Design Products. Well, thank you guys for being here. So what is Mars, and what inspired you to develop this? Well, really, in a word, it's revolutionary. Um, it's light gun technology for up to four players, but it's different at the same time. So people know light guns for what they were in the past, and we actually use um, a very low power laser technology for Mars. I want to expand upon that whole laser thing, because things have changed in the past few years. I mean, TV evolves, technology evolves, and not everyone kind of knows how this technology works. So can you walk us through how this sets up maybe at home? Sure. Let's talk a little bit about the history kind of of light guns, so, and reflect a little bit on, you know, CRT uh, technology or tube TVs. Sure. Those were the original games that we played, you know, like Duck Hunt. Everybody's oh, familiar yeah. with yeah. Duck Hunt. So, um, as TV technology kind of got advanced, that technology kind of went away. It came back with the launch of the Wii and, and some other um, console platforms with an IR emitter, and that's very similar technology that you have in the arcades. But even that was a little weird because it was like relative positioning. Is the camera above the TV? Is it below the TV? So it didn't really know exactly where you were pointing. It was more or less guessing. Um, and with Mars, we actually utilize oh. this very unique camera. So this is a proprietary intellectual property that PDP owns. It actually sits back from the TV, as you can see here, and then calibrates, knows exactly where the center of the TV is, the four corners, and then the four guns actually communicate directly um, with that camera. So when you're pointing at the television, it actually knows exactly down to the pixel where you're pointing. So very, very accurate. Um, mm. Doesn't have it, you know, lag that other, you know, previous light gun iterations had. That's very impressive. And this isn't a standalone solution, right? This works with the Xbox One? That's correct. So um, launching on Xbox One, it is licensed for Xbox. And we have um, three different um, titles that we're launching with, Cubit's Quest and Voyage of the Dead, two games that we actually developed. And then Big Buck Hunter Arcade is actually being developed by Game Mill and they're bringing that to us as well. And then we're in, having discussions with other developers as well about what the next, you know, the fourth and the fifth and sixth title will be for Mars. Well, since we have a Mars setup and four light guns, are we ready to try it out? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. So Oof. everybody turn your guns on with okay. uh, the button on the right. Okay, I'm green. And then that'll be your color in game. This game is Cubit's Quest. Uh, this is our little robot dog here named Cubit, and we're trying to protect him. He kind of runs around on his own, and you can control him by making him jump, but that's really it. Otherwise, he's he's just on his own. I want to protect okay. him. Jump by pressing yeah. the back and then, button, yeah, and yeah. then you can double jump by pressing it twice. Oh, oh. double! Oh. And you want okay, to protect he's height in there. Cubit as he's, as he's going through here. And you Where really, is he going? You really want to aim, so you want to line he's up. He's on a mission. This mark here with the mark oh, in the jump. back here, so it's really aiming. Jump. Am I getting points for jumping? You're getting points for things that you shoot. Just anything? And getting points oh, for that. protecting yes. Cubit yeah. from taking damage <laughs> as well. You just saved him! <laughs> as the truck explodes. So you shoot everything, there. the park benches, you can actually shoot the trees, the garbage cans, shoot these platforms gotcha. down. I like these They'll bones. They'll defeat the robots and then create a platform for him to walk across there. We just came from the E3 show and we actually had a 12 foot projector set up in a media room uh, playing. And again, as long as the camera is then 12 feet back uh, from that 12 foot screen, um, it works flawlessly. I do want to point out one thing that I'm happy you guys have, a little bit of a safety issue. We have these wrist straps. <laughs> yeah, that's for when, when people get extra competitive. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, the guns actually have accelerometers uh, built in. They're built um, with action buttons. Um, reloading um, in some games would be pulling this action button back, the back button we talked about for Qubit, and also obviously the uh, the trigger, so there's built-in functionality for games coming in the future as well. When we can get our hands on this, you know, sure. and where? Um, Pre-order is actually um, happening right now at GameStop or GameStop.com, um, or you can go to PDP, mars.pdp.com for more information. 
the three bundles that we're offering up that you see here, Cubit's Quest, Big Buck Hunter Arcade, and Voyage of the Dead, includes one gun, or light con as we call it, the IR station, or the camera, and then a digital download of each of those three games. And right now, until the launch date, if you reserve one of the three bundles, you get an additional light con for free. So that's a $29.99 value. And extra light cons can be purchased for $29.99. The games are also available separately as digital downloads for $19.99. So if you buy a Cubit's Quest bundle, you can get a copy of Voyage of the Dead on the Microsoft Store. Awesome. Listen, Mars is awesome, and anybody that loves light gun games needs to pick this up. Thank you guys so much for coming out and showing us about Mars. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, we're going to be hanging out here with John and Adam playing with Mars. GameStop TV will be right back. so much for being here and watching our video. We want to see you more often, so hit that subscribe button so you can see all of them and leave a comment down below.